Welcome to NCC lecture series. This is NCC lecture number 53. Honorable commanding officer, respected associate NCC officers, dear permanent instructors, dear cadets and dear students. We have been discussing communication skills. We discussed different aspects of communication skills. We discussed uh, effective communication, barriers to effective communication, and today we discuss reducing communication gap. How can we reduce communication gap? And this lecture of uh, uh, the topic reducing communication gap is from the point of view of the speaker. How can a speaker, how can a sender of message reduce communication gap? And let's look at uh, the important points or rather the important ways through which we can reduce communication gap. The first point is plan ahead. So if uh, you are going to give a lecture, you are sure about the topic and you think about all the possibilities or all the aspects, different characteristics and aspects of the topic you are going to lecture or you are going to teach. So when you plan ahead of the program, the lecture, okay, much before, maybe weeks before and prepare very well, plan very well. So if there is proper planning, communication gap can be reduced. And when you are planning, you should just think of the relevance of the topic. You should consider the age group of the audience, the professional background of the audience, the cultural and linguistic background of the audience. Plan your lecture. So planning is very essential for reducing communication gap and uh, making your lecture, your presentation the more successful. First point of reducing communication gap is plan ahead. Don't go for a lecture all on a sudden, maybe at a short notice, without any preparation or without conviction of the topic you are going to lecture. Plan much ahead and be sure about what you are going to speak. Be sure about the audience and it will be successful. There won't be much communication or any communication gap between you as the speaker and people on the other side. Now. The second point is involve others to contribute to planning. When you are organizing or planning your lecture, okay, you have to involve others. Why involving others? Whom should you involve? You should involve the people who conduct the program, the organizers of the lecture. Talk to them. Have an idea about the audience the participants and maybe when you lecture on one subject that subject can have uh, many dimensions different aspects right you have to define the topic you have to analyze the topic you have to interpret different aspects of the uh, topic and of course by the end you are evaluating everything and you're going to help the audience so ensure that your lecture is going to help the audience so plan with others ask them the time timing then the duration how many hours you get for it is it just 30 minutes or is it maybe an afternoon session or a forenoon session how many breaks do you have and what are you going to speak in the first session what is the age group of the others okay so what kind of presentation do they require so plan with the others so number one of reducing first a measure or step to reduce communication gap is planning ahead number two planning with others involve others in planning and number three listen to suggestions made by others so you are just giving a lecture or you are planning the lecture so there are people to help you to assist you listen to them accept their ideas and uh, just make proper changes so this is very important listen to suggestions by others before the lecture during the lecture 
and even after the lecture because next time when you go for uh, a lecture of course you could be more uh, effective in uh, your communication so we are discussing reducing communication gap so uh, uh, accept suggestions by others made by others okay during planning there are suggestions during lecture there are suggestions after lecture there are suggestions incorporate all that for the next lecture you will be very very effective in communication so rather the communication gap can be reduced that way now fourth point of reducing communication gap is speak with purpose and be specific okay so what's the purpose of my lecture what am i speaking to okay why do i speak okay i must help my audience each and every one there so speak with some purpose and specific now of course i'm speaking to help you to reduce communication gap so i must be very sure about my topic i must not just uh, deviate from the very topic so the purpose and uh, of course the specific right so we are discussing this topic right so be specific about the topic don't just beat around the bush so purpose and specific is right so speak with purpose and be specific uh, all right this is the next uh, 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 point or step to reduce communication gap now we come to the fifth step to reduce communication gap that is justify your stand without upsetting others justify your stand without upsetting others you are in a lecture you are giving a lecture you are the speaker and you speak okay so there could be different opinions in the audience maybe one of the audience one of the participants differ okay so he could be just raising a question is asking about the topic the data the idea the information you gave them so just uh, give respect don't upset them justify your stand without upsetting or insulting or causing any ill feeling to the others be gentle humble and uh, respect your audience very important so when if you are being very arrogant proud and uh, rather rather careless i don't care for you kind of attitude the audience will be rather uh, 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 they they think bad of you rather they don't accept you you don't get the kind of expected acceptance so be good humble gentle and uh, have a very very good relationship with your audience so that is it can reduce communication gap sometimes maybe your presence your humility your uh, friendliness it can of course make your lecture a wonderful one so justify your stand without upsetting or insulting others now the next step the sixth step uh, to reduce communication gap is have a sense of humor okay in your lecture you can at times just be very very humorous rather you can just say some jokes all right or rather you can create some fun that too again not insulting anyone in the audience sense of humor is always good you can involve your uh, participants also so be very friendly and uh, joyous in your uh, words and deeds and uh, all even in your body language be very open and receptive so next uh, uh, steps to reduce communication gap is having empathy think of your audience think of their mental disposition their attitude their physical their emotional okay so maybe if it is very late okay if they must be hungry or if they are not ready maybe the the climate the atmosphere in the room if it's not congenial or not suitable feel pity for them be sympathetic give them some break or ask one of uh, the 
the audience to, of course, speak for some time. Just understand them, listen to them, care for their feelings. So empathy is very, very essential, a feeling for others. Okay, this is very consideration for others. So it can again, when your listener or speaker understands that, okay, he is understood, you care for him, you are there to help him, he will be more attentive and your communication or your lecture, your class will be very, very effective and successful. So have empathy all the time during the lecture. Now we have to move to the eighth and the last step of reducing communication gap. Don't be judgmental. judgmental. Do not be judgmental. Don't be prejudiced. Don't have preconceived uh, uh, concepts or uh, impressions, right? So uh, never make categorical judgmental commentaries or observations. It can again be uh, a block in your lecture between you and the audience. So don't be judgmental. This is the last step. So with that, we can come to the end of the session. So let us remember all these eight points and let us reduce communication gap. And let's be very effective leaders. Wish you all the best. May God bless.